Okay, so first impressions, this thing is fast. I'm gonna have to slow it down a little bit. Let's go with the lower voltage. It's not as controllable as I would like right now. Alright, so we're finally at a point here where we are ready to integrate the electronics into the power chair itself. So I'll just do a quick overview on what I've got here. Uh, I've got a temporary 5 volt regulator that I'm using to power all the electronics while I decide what to actually use for that. Um, the ESP32 microcontroller, which is the brains behind this operation. I've got an accelerometer and gyro combination here to measure heading or the angle of direction. I've got two motor controllers here, one for right, one for left. I've got relays, which I'm actually using to control the direction of each uh, motor. It's super scrappy, not ideal, but you know, again, for prototyping purposes, it works. This is a throttle signal conversion board that I made, a custom board to turn a 3.3 volt signal into five volts for the throttle input. We've got our joystick here, which has an on switch, a status light, a speed knob, and of course, the joystick. So the way that this vehicle is gonna work, you'll be able to turn it on, status light is on, the power relays are active, and then you just push it in the direction you wanna go. Zero point turn capability as well, which is gonna be pretty sweet. And we're gonna find out what kind of speeds we can achieve with this power chair. All right, so we're in that phase where I'm finding software issues. So you can see I'm commanding the power chair forward, we're moving forward, but then when I turn it off, uh, that's not what you want. So, and then one wheel is turning. I finally found the problem. It was in the code, yada, yada. I needed to turn the relays off when the wow loop is not running. A bunch of C code. All right, so check it out. We're running. Oh yeah, there we go. And if we turn it off while we're running, it kills the power chair. That's what we want. That's a safety issue, right? Like you need to be able to turn it off while running if something malfunctions, you understand. So now when we turn it on, we get a status light, we're live here. We know that the power chair will operate and we can turn that off at any given time, just like that. So.
right, we are finally at a point where I've got the motor controller integrated, the high powered wiring integrated, the battery's cozy. In the back here, I've got five volt power. Um, ready to turn this thing on and, and see what happens. Controller is on. Woo! All right, we're live. All right, the time has finally come. We're ready to test. I might let the magic smoke out somehow. I'm really good at that, but we'll find out. First test. Here we go, power on. Oh man. Can't really steer this thing. Wow, it's a lot of traffic here, but man, this thing is very, very powerful. I'm having trouble controlling it, to be honest. Let's just try to go straight. <laughs> oh, too much. <laughs> Look, I, I'm afraid I'm going to flip it. <laughs> We're going to have to play with these loops. Okay, so I have some thoughts after testing, and the main thing that I've noticed is that all of the hardware works. So from the motor controllers up to the microcontroller and the joystick module, everything works as intended, which is fantastic news. Now I will have to adjust some settings in the software, uh, some parameters that feed the control loop for steering straight and for turning left and right. I think the gains are a little too heavy, so there's some overcorrection there at speed. We're gonna have to do a little bit more work to refine the software so that it's easier to control. It's definitely too fast, it's way too fast. Um, I could easily flip this thing, and I could e easily flip it doing zero point turns as well as it accelerates. It almost threw me out of the chair a couple of times as you'll see in the video. So definitely some things to refine, but overall I am ecstatic that this chair is working and it didn't burn to the ground. That's fantastic news. So I know a lot of you have been with me since the beginning of this journey. It's been a long time uh, and we're finally here on testing day. That's a huge deal. And uh, hats off to all of those that stuck with me and didn't give up on me, even though I took forever to finish this project. Uh, we're not done yet. I still have to refine some things, but overall we have completed the power wheelchair project and I'll be updating the GitHub and the software as we go. So thanks again for sticking with me. Uh, if you like this project, go ahead and smash that like button. Feel free to subscribe. So I wanted to give an update on the chair. Um, I ended up ditching the open source motor controller. It just proved to be too difficult to control the chair and I was never able to get a fine enough resolution of control with it. So I ended up going with a Cytron motor controller and I also created CAN bus nodes for the chair. So there's a CAN bus node for the motor controller and then there's a CAN bus node inside of the joystick module. So not only is it now communicating between CAN nodes, but I've also got a much better motor controller on there. And this is what I would recommend moving forward for anybody that wants to pursue this project. It was about $80, $80 which 
I don't know. I mean, I blew up a lot of those Amazon motor controllers, so I, I know that I spent some money just testing with those. Um, I'll post a link in the description below, and I may have to make an update video and post. I was also experimenting with ultrasonic sensors um, for obstacle detection and auto braking. Uh, here's a video on that if you just want to know what that looks like. So, again, I'll have to make another video, more updates soon. Thanks for tuning in, guys. So check it out. I've got the ultrasonic sensor array right here. This is the front sensor. This is the rear. I'm just doing some testing of the software. So we're gonna drive towards this object. Ooh, look at that. I'm still commanding it to go forward. We're not moving forward. For documentation's sake, here we go. Can't move forward anymore. <laughs> it's a little scary just driving full speed into an object, but I don't fully trust the system yet. That, I mean, that works. Let's drive into this door. <laughs> it's not, oh, I know what's happening. I'm not. I'm not actually driving the motor to brake, so it's still rolling after shutting off. So I'm gonna have to enforce, I, I know how to fix this.